this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. So today I will show you how to crochet the mini Christmas stocking. And um, this one is made in amigurumi style, uh, working in spiral rounds. And um, it is small. Uh, it measures about six inches long and three inches wide. But it's perfect uh, to uh, put some candy in and uh, and even also hanging on a Christmas tree. So let's first see what type of yarn I'm using. And I'm using Lion Brand Vanna's uh, Glamour yarn. Uh, and this one is special because it has this sparkly thread around the yarn which makes it... Um, pretty and more festive and the yarn is a uh, fine size size two recommended crochet hook is size four and um, it is 96 percent acrylic four percent metallic polyester and for the stocking i'll need uh, red and white one of each and i am using crochet hook size 3.75 millimeters you'll also need one uh, stitch marker and let's get started with the stocking and i start with my uh, red yarn and um, i'll make a magic ring first so here i place the yarn tail across my fingers then um, make a cross around my index finger then insert my hook underneath that first strand and pull that second one through from underneath. Then take the finger out of the ring, make a stitch. And now I can start making my crochet stitches. Um, first round, uh, we'll make six single crochets into the ring. Two, three, four, five and six and now I'm going to place the stitch marker insert it in that last single crochet so that I know where my round ends and now pulling that uh, yarn tail pull that ring tight There, and now the second round. So um, as I mentioned, this is uh, going to, we're going to work in spirals, uh, amigurumi style. So um, from that last stitch, we're going to go straight to that first one. And on a second round, I need to make two single crochets in each stitch. So increase in every stitch uh, we'll end up with 12 on the second round so one two the first stitch three four second stitch five six seven eight nine ten and last, 11 and 12. And now I'm going to take the stitch marker and uh, put it in that last one here on the second round. And on the third round, we have to increase in every other stitch. So I'm going to start increasing in the first one. Here's my first stitch. I'll make two uh, single crochets in here, one and two. Into the next, I make one. That's the third stitch. Into the next, I make two again, four and five. Into the next, I make one, six, and so on. I always keep counting. So seven and eight in here, 
9 in the next, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and into the last 18. And again, I will take my stitch marker and put it in that last stitch. Next round, we're going to increase in every third stitch, starting with increases in the first one. So let's see, here's my first. I'm going to make two single crochets in here, increase in here, one, two, and into the each next two stitches, I make one single crochet. So three, and four into the next again two five six seven eight again two in the next nine ten eleven twelve again two in here thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 in the last. So I have the right count just unraveled a little bit so let's do those last two 23 24 all right again take the stitch marker and put it in that last and our next round We need to increase in every fourth stitch, starting with the first one. So here, I mean, in the first stitch, I make two single crochets, one, two. Then I make three, one in each next three. So three, four, five. Into the next, again, make two, six, and seven. And then again, three, eight, nine, ten. Do the next, make two, eleven, twelve, and then three single, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, two again, so sixteen, seventeen in here, and then eighteen. 19, 20, one in each. Next at two again. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Next two again. 26, 27, and then three last. 28, 29, and here's my last 30. And 30 stitches around is what we need. From now on, we're just going to single crochet one in each. And we're making, um, this way we're making 11 more rounds. So always when you want to count your rounds, uh, we're, have, we're going to have to have 15 rounds before the heel starts. So from here, uh, just single crochet one in each. You can always move your stitch marker along Always after 30 uh, stitches, uh, move that stitch marker into that last stitch you made. And uh, to keep count, um, I find it easy just to start from here. One, two, three, four, five. This is my sixth round I'm making right now. So I need total of 15 here. And let's uh, meet when this is done. 
and I finished uh, 15 rounds and um, I'm going to keep this uh, working yarn I'm not going to fasten off keep the loop here because we can continue on with the red yarn after the heel is done so I'm just gonna put it aside and you can take off the stitch marker and now we're going to join the white yarn with the slip stitch slip knot first and um, into that first stitch right here next to the last I'm going to make my first single crochet with a white yarn and now make 15 more so we'll have 16 single crochets with a white three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and now for the heel, uh, these are going to be rows back and forth. So now chain and turn and uh, single crochet one in each again. So 16 and uh, make total of eight rows this way with the white yarn. And I'll meet you back when uh, that is done. So I finished my eight rows of single crochets with the white yarn. And so here it looks like a pocket right now. That's the inside. And um, what I'm going to do now is turn it this way because I, I need to stitch this upper edge. So first I'm going to fold it this way so that inside is out on that white part. Here's my working loop. Then I will turn it this way. Now insert your hook through the first stitch on this side. Also through the loop and pull it through. And from here, we can now um, crochet stitch that um, upper part, upper edge of the heel together. So I'm inserting my hook through the two loops of the next one here on this side and also through the two loops on the other side and then do the slip stitch. And also the next same way. And um, you can also just uh, stitch it together with a needle, tapestry needle, if you find it easier or if you prefer. So here's my last. And now I can uh, cut off the white yarn. And fasten off. And now you can turn it around. The, this stitch is going to be inside. So here's the edge stitched together on the outside. And we have our heel done. And next, go back to that uh, loop, working loop of the red yarn. And we can keep uh, continue working with that. And so first thing uh, we need to now um, single crochet along the edge of the heel. Uh, since we made eight rows, uh, we're going to have 16 stitches here. So just uh, 
insert hook in each the side of the each row and uh, make a single crochet so here's my first second third fourth five six seven and eight and now the other side nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen okay and now continue working into the red single crochet stitches we have a uh, 14 now here to work on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen I got my stitch count just right And now repeat the same round uh, 12 more times, just a uh, single crochet, one in each around. So when you count, you have total of 13 rounds, starting uh, from that heel round. And I finished 13 rounds. Uh, 30 single crochets uh, one in each and I didn't mention but it's a again good idea to insert that stitch marker in the last stitch of each round to keep uh, track of your rounds and um, now I'm going to slip stitch into the next to make this uh, even and Cut off the red yarn and fasten off. And now we have four more rounds to make with the white yarn. So again, going to make the slip knot. And I'm going to uh, try and find a stitch here on the back of the sock and uh, join my white yarn in here because after our four rounds uh, we will also uh, crochet the hanging strand. It has to be in this back corner here. But for now, uh, just make four rounds uh, with single crochets again, one in each. And uh, let's meet back here when that is done. And again, I used the stitch marker um, in the last uh, single crochet stitch. So I know that this is my last stitch. Made four rows with white yarn. And uh, from here, to make the strand, uh, I'll chain 16. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16. And then attach the strand um, into that next stitch right here with a slip stitch. And now I'm also going to uh, slip stitch in each chain uh, to make it a little bit thicker. So I don't make single crochets, I just make slip stitches in each chain here. I did the last slip stitch and now uh, last thing I'm also going to slip stitch into that space where I began the strand it's, so it's going to bring this uh, loop together a little bit more tighter and nicer and uh, cut off and fasten off And of course you can make this longer, just add more chains. Uh, and then uh, the last thing to do, of course we need to uh, weave in all these ends. And then let's uh, also stitch these cute little crosses here uh, with the needle. And if you'd like, you can finish your uh, stocking right here. But uh, again, if you prefer, uh, we can make this uh, little extra decoration with those uh, uh, crosses here. So for that, I, um, I cut quite a long strand, um, fold it in two. So you have two strands together with the white yarn. And um, so take your stocking uh, facing the heel backside and uh, here on the back uh, we're going to make the cross stitches on the third row from the beginning of that uh, red yarn from the top edge. So one, two and the crosses are going to be here on that third one and I'm going to first insert my needle in space here it's right below that third and the cross is going to be around one single crochet stitch every second every other one so we'll have 15 of the crosses so just leave that tail here for now. And um, if you've done uh, cross stitching before, it's going to be familiar. If not, uh, it's not gonna be difficult, I promise. So we start here and next we're going to insert our needle. This is our first single crochet stitch. We're going to insert our needle from front to back through that upper space here and we're going to bring up our needle from back to front below that next single crochet stitch and how it works is uh, we're going to make uh, these um, half crosses first around and then we come back and uh, make the, the other half of the cross and so that next uh, again insert your needle from front to back through that upper space and bring it back up from this space below the next single crochet
again needle goes from front to back in here and comes back up here the next space space insert so you skip this one insert here bring back up here So here's a little tricky part. Um, so I did four of half cross stitches here and uh, going to make the fifth one, inserting needle up, back inside up here. So, but this is where my red yarn round started and ended. So if I now keep doing the same and bring the needle back up here, I'm going to have three rows on top of that cross stitch row. So I don't want that. It's going to be uneven. So instead, then I have to insert needle up uh, here and bring it back up here. Doesn't the space next to it, not the below space. So then you'll see it's going to continue and then next single crochet stitch is this one we're going to make the cross stitch on so you need to reach up up here insert needle and it comes back out here then you continue the same way So you'll see you have two rows between the cross stitch line and the white yarn top line. And then just continue the same until you have 15 half cross stitches around. So here I'm making my last half cross stitch right here and instead of coming back up here where I started, uh, come back up with a needle from that space in that space through the space uh, below right here. So that's where we can now start going backwards and to the other half halves for the crosses. And now I just insert needle back up here. So you'll see you create that cross. And I finished all my crosses. This is how it looks uh, here on that side where we had that uh, little bit of difference here with those rows where the red row started ended. Um, so you see there's a little bit of difference here on this level, but um, I think it's minor and it's, it doesn't really bother me. It still looks great. And so this is now uh, finished, uh, weaving all the ends inside. And um, I really hope you have fun with making this little mini Christmas stocking. Um, I will have written pattern on my website to help you along. 
and uh, let me know if you have any questions and um, happy crocheting